Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to do the equipment one uh, uploaded in Blackboard. Uh, so this is the equipment one, which is uh, a stabilizer reflux drum. So we're going to use Aviva Everything 3D software to uh, do this uh, to create a, a 3D equipment using this tool. So initially what you're going to do is you're going to go to the general and in this uh, over here. So we're going to create a site. Uh, let's uh, name something to the site. The name of the site, maybe equipment one. Uh, I'm going to create a zone in this site and name something. I'm going to go with the default. Uh, and then in this zone, we're going to create an equipment uh, using uh, the details in this drawing. So what you're going to do is, so as you can see, we don't have an equipment tab here. So if you, if you, if you see, just start using it. If you don't see, just uh, go over there and click on the equipment. A new equipment tab should be popped up. So we're going to create an equipment. So click on this arrow or you can directly click over here as well. So this is a general equipment. So we're going to create an equipment. Make sure the zone is selected. So the equipment is going to be created in this zone. Uh, the name of the equipment, let's see. It says drawing number is 1201. The title is Stabilizer Reflux Drum. So let's name it Equipment 1201. You can name uh, anything else as well in the descri description. This is a stabilizer. Um, this is kind of a storage tank. So, and the position east, north, and up, these are the origin point of the equipment. So from the drawing, as you can see, my origin point is not at the center of the equipment, but over here. So this would be my origin point, origin location of my equipment. So the origin uh, coordinates is given in that zone. E means east, N means north, U means up. So it's at east 29 feet, two inches, north 15 feet, five inches, and up 20 feet, four inches. Let's put the coordinates over there. Okay, so. So east is 29 feet, two inches. Uh, if you don't, uh, if as you can see here, it says millimeter, right? But uh, as long as you put it write it as inches or feet, it automatically converts it. So don't worry about the units. Uh, the north coordinate is 15 feet. So this is my feet and five, this is my inches. This is how you do the uh, right, uh, feet and inches, okay? Uh, and as you can see, it automatically converts it to millimeter. Uh, the up position is 20 feet, four, inches. So we're done with the um, origin location, the description. If you want to put more specifications, you can do that this way. So we'll create the equipment origin. So as you can see, there is nothing generated because we just created an equipment, but there is no component of the equipment. So you're going to create the components of the equipment that, that will display it and uh, as the whole equipment. So as you can see in the drawing, so we have different components like uh, the middle one. Uh, uh, so this is the drawing looking at east. So so this is the uh, this is how the equipment looks like uh, by looking at it. This is similar to your front view. Uh, this is looking at north. So this is similar to a, a right side view, as you can see in here use the, using this global coordinate. So you're standing at west and looking at east. Same way you're standing at south, you're looking at north. So this is like front view and right side view. So let's start. So um, how many components do you have? So we, we need to have the cylinder, 
need to have a dish in here and there are multiple nozzles and two bases which would be rectangular boxes so let me show you how you do that you can use um, uh, tools like AutoCAD similar to AutoCAD or SOLIDWORKS you are not going to do any 2D uh, geometry and extrude to create a 3D geometry so there are some primitives already generated so you're going to use the only these primitives to generate uh, the equipment okay so what you're going to do is uh, I can see like as you can see from the front view and I said view, there is a big cylinder in here so that cylinder is this one okay it looks like a rectangle from here, but from the right side, you can confirm the middle one is a cylinder. The cylinder has a diameter, which we can find uh, in here. So it says, uh, it's uh, four feet, seven and a half inches. And the height, uh, we can see, you can use this one as a height, 15 feet, nine inches, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a cylinder Primitive, so we're going to create. These are the components of the equipment. So we're going to create a cylinder primitive. So these are called the primitives. Uh, you can just create it somewhere else and then modify the position and everything. So as you can see, this one it starts from my equipment origin I have already mentioned. So this is why it's not at zero zero zero. It starts from over there because I already set up the equipment origin. Okay, so I can create randomly over here I'm just going to click some random diameter and everything okay let me zoom in I'm just using scroll to zoom in so looking from west to east it seems like a vertical uh, cylinder but from the drawing it should look like a horizontal uh, cylinder so what you need to do is you need to rotate it and also make sure the specifications are right so what you can do is, as you can see, clicking on the cell, a cylinder component is created in the equipment. So you can click on the cylinder, and now in the properties toolbar, um, geometry, you can uh, modify the cylinder. So we know from the drawing, the diameter of the cylinder is uh, four feet, seven and a half inches. So we're gonna just type it over here four feet now you can either write 7.5 inches or there is another way how uh, of adding up the fractional uh, values so what you can do is you can do 7.1 over 2 inches so this represents seven and a half inches not uh, like seven multiplied by something or anything like that this is four feet seven and a half inches so sometimes you'll have like three over eight inches so you don't want to use any conversion or anything uh like you don't need to add or anything like that because 7.5 is easy to find but if you have a three and a three over eight inches it's difficult to find the fractional value so you can uh, um, skip that part using uh writing writing it like this way so this is four feet seven and a half inches uh this is the uh, meter, I think, sorry. So it should be over here. Four feet, seven dot one over two inches. Okay, so this is my diameter. My height is um, 15 feet, nine inches. 15 feet, nine inches. Let's see. 15 feet 9 inches, let me show you where. So from this point to this point. So this is my cylinder height, 15 feet 9 inches. All right, so our cylinder dim dimension is fine. Now we need to rotate or uh, make it to the right orientation. So how do we do that? Um, uh, so let's see. There are a couple of ways to do it. So either you can double click over on the component this only works when you have only a single component in the equipment like you might have multiple components at the same time and if you double click all the components are selected at the same time so uh, sometimes you just want to individually rotate one component and that creates a problem let me show you both ways so this is the easier way when you have just a single component in here 
you can click over here, how like specify the angle you want to rotate with. So let's say 90 degree and it's rotated. So now from looking from west to east, it looks like a horizontal cylinder. So uh, our orientation is fine. You can press escape to uh, let it go. Now we need to position the cylinder properly. Uh, as you can see, the cylinder origin point is uh, on the right uh, top point of the cylinder, rightmost point of the cylinder, looking at east. Uh, by default, when you create a cylinder, the cylinder local origin is always at the center of the cylinder, here in the middle of it. So you need to move the cylinder uh, and coincide with the equipment origin point over here. So what we can do is, uh, you can either move the cylinder by half of its height towards the uh, uh, north direction, or what we can do is uh, we can use this position and I don't recommend using this. This has some issues, so let's let's use the move. Let's not show you guys how to that stuff. So in this, let's select the cylinder, go to home, and there is this move tool. Make sure the cylinder is selected. Use this move uh, and offset. So I'm just going to offset it. You can specify any position or other advanced tool as well. Move tool has some issues. It moves by element by element. So if you if you have any object snap option, you can use these features. This is better. If you know like the position coordinate you want to move, this is this tool is better. Offset most of the cases offset is very useful. So we're going to use offset a lot uh, in this course. Uh, so I selected the offset position now. How much? and where do I want to offset? As you can see, these small coordinates, these are the local coordinates of the cylinder, okay? Although it's matching with the global coordinates for now, but sometimes it doesn't. Uh, so we need to move to the north by, uh, by half, of the, uh, uh, half of the height of the cylinder. So half of the height would be, so here it says 15 feet 9 inches, so let's move it uh, to uh, in two steps. So 15 feet, so it's 7.5 feet, right? So let's move 7.5 feet. Click apply, fit mode. And then we also need to move nine inches. So half of nine inches is uh, 4.5 inches, right? Uh, you can do it your way. You can do it just in one step. I just don't want to calculate it, so I'm skipping those parts. So right now, my equipment, uh, the center point over here should be at the origin point. All right. So let's see. My cylinder is at the right location. Now what you need to do is uh, there are two dish primitives over here. All right, on both sides of the cylinder. So once the first component is positioned at the right location, uh, from there on, you need to, uh, you don't need to be very concerned about the coordinates. You can just build up uh, the other components with respect to, like using this uh, first component as a reference. So what you're going to do is, um, we're going to go to the equipment, create another primitive over here. And this one, so this looks like a dish primitive. So I'm going to create a dish. As you can see, I can select the middle uh, point on this surface. So what I can do is uh, I can go to the settings and uh, increase my object snap. So item midpoint, P points. I think P points will do it. So there is a P point over here, as you can see. Uh, directly moved over here. So I want to create a dish. I'm just going to create it randomly uh, and then uh, modify the size. So dish, diameter, height, and radius, right? So let's see how much is the diameter. The diameter is the same as the cylinder diameter, which is four feet, seven and a half inches. So four 
feet seven and a half inches and the height is uh, so this is the height so one feet three inches and this radius is actually uh, it's not mentioned in here but this is the radius around here okay how sharp is it depending on the radius there is right now the radius is zero so it's like uh, it's perpendicular it's 90 degree uh, starting from here right so there is no radius over here <coughs> uh, you can play with it see how it changes right so what we need to do, we need to do the same similar kind of operation we did to the cylinder. We need to make an orientation so that it matches with the cylinder. Uh, so select the dish. Now let's see if we want to do the uh, do it similarly like the previous step. Whenever you're double clicking it, as you can see, both like the whole equipment is being selected. So it's gonna orientate the whole equipment, and we don't want that. We just want to uh make an orientation to the dish all right so what you can do uh is uh, uh the previous step was like a shortcut uh so this is the proper way to do it so select the dish and go to rotate click this arrow there is an orientate option right so you're going to select the orientation and as you can see these are the local coordinates uh, this is represented in x y and z so if I want to make an orientation after the orientation, uh, Y should be downwards, right? If you make an orientation and after the orientation, it should be Y should be downwards, Z should be pointing upwards. So here you can see east, north. So there is no down in here. So what you can do is at the north, Z should be at the north. The local Z should be at the north after the orientation so north should be z coordinate click apply oh. there you go all right so it automatically makes an orientation and it perfectly matches with the cylinder so we're done with the next component now similar way you can do the same step and create another dish over here but uh, to be more efficient, so we can just copy the dish because in the drawing is the same dish in both sides. All right. So what we can do is we're going to copy offset. So in the home, and uh, I selected the dish and it says copy offset the component. OK, so we're going to do the copy offset. Now offset by what? Offset from element to design point. Okay, so it's telling you like uh, like uh, by what do you want to offset it? Right. By the way, this is uh, not exactly copy, but it's like a mirror, right? Uh, I think mirror we can do it in just one step. You can do use the copy offset and make the orientation again, but. Let's use the copy mirror in this case. That would be better. So I want to do a copy mirror of this dish. Based on, you can do an element. So in that case, the element would be the cylinder. OK, so it would be created by, uh, with respect to the element on the other side. Or most of the cases, the design point is easier. So you can, if you can select them, so left click and hold. So these are showing the P points, OK? Mouse left click and hold it, and you will be able to see the P points. I'm going to select the middle design point as my reference for the copy mirror. So once I select this one, it automatically adjusts everything. Click apply. So as you can see, a new dish is created uh, using uh, like using the mirror tool. So retain co created copies. Yes, I want to keep it. And uh, we're done with the uh, two dishes. After that, uh, let's start with the, let's do the basis. Then we will be done with the component, the primitives, and then we can move to, to the novel. So the two bases would be, as you can see from the right side view, it's similar to a rectangular uh, base. 
uh, with the length, width, and height. And uh, if you're wondering how much it should go inside, we don't care in this software how like what is inside. So most of the cases, as you can see, the height should be uh, up to the middle point of the cylinder, which is given in here, two feet ten inches. Okay, so the height is two feet ten inches, three feet six inches, and this is six inches. So this is the dimension of the uh, base. So let's create a similar primitive. So I'm going to go to the equipment. And so these are negative primitives. So if you want to subtract some part of it, uh, I'll show it in another uh, example. So create a box primitive. Uh, let's create a box somewhere random. Okay. So this is my box. Click on the box. So X length, Y length, Z length. It's not showing you the local coordinates. So let's just play with it. See which one is switch. So uh, this is maybe let's make it 1000. Okay, fine. This is my X. So from the drawing, as you can see, the X should be uh, 3 feet 6 inches. So let's make it 3 feet 6 inches. Right. A Y length. I'm guessing it's the this one. Let's see, 200. This one, all right. So this depth is six inches. All right. So this is six inches. The Z length is uh, from the drawing you can see this is the height two feet ten inches so this is two feet ten inches all right so my dimension of my base is fine from the drawing what you can what you are going to do is you're going to position this base initially at the origin and then we're going to move it by three feet two inches because the dimension is given that way and then we're going to do a copy offset and create another base from the new base uh, by nine feet uh, five inches all right so let's position it at the uh, uh, equipment origin using the top point right so i'm going to select the box and Go to the move tool. Position. So I'm gonna move it based on the position. So this one, the datum point, means my uh, reference point of this uh, of the object I'm going to trying to move. As you can see, origin is at the very center of this uh, box. I can actually change my uh, reference point of of moving this uh, component. So like P point is on that side, P point two, we don't want that, three. So this is the point we want to match with my origin point, right? So what you're gonna do is, you can actually change these values in here or just use uh, a graphical pick And then left click. Uh, I need to turn on the objects maps. I take it points. Center. Oops. Sorry. Uh, like graphical pick. No, I don't want that. Put 
position in this one. Three point. Okay, left click and hold and then move it over there. So as you can see, it's uh, moved over there. Click apply. Uh, it's permanent. And after that, what you're going to do is you're going to shift, like offset this base to three feet, two inches towards the north, right? Because we are at the south, looking at north, you're going to move it. So same way, move, offset to the north by three feet, two inches, right? Apply. So my first base is at the right location. All right. And the second base. So what you're going to do is you're going to select this box, copy offset another box uh, towards this uh, local Y direction, right? So at local Y direction by uh, nine feet five inches. So it's nine feet. Five inches. Yes. There you go. Uh, so I have done all my pre natives. All right. So what I need to do is uh, I need to create my nozzles. All right. So you can select this equipment or just uh, be over here as well. There's no issue. So go to the equipment. So this is my modify toolbar. I don't want to modify, I want to create. So this is my create tab and nozzle. Okay. So I want to create a nozzle in this equipment. And um, so it's going to be the nozzle one first. So nozzle one specification is given um, three inch diameter. Um, the rating is the specification and other um, description of the nozzle. Uh, the position of the nozzle one, as you can see, it says N1. Um, the position uh, is from the origin towards the north by one feet, five and a half inches. And the height of the nozzle, it goes all the way towards the middle, as you can see in here, two feet, nine inches, all right? So we're going to create the nozzle initially position it at the origin and then we're going to offset it by this much towards the north, All right? Um, so the name of the nozzle is N1. And uh, the bore diameter is uh, 3 N1 is already exist at some of these sites. So what you can do is you can just name it something else. N1, let's see. Yeah, oh, it exists as well. So let's name it Nozzle 1, all right? And the uh, specification is 300 RF. Looking to the drawing, the bore diameter, it says three inches. Three inches, 300 uh, pound rating. So three inches, take the closest diameter, which is which, which is available here, close to three inches. So three inch means around like uh, 75 millimeter, right? So take 80 millimeter, which is the closest one. The height uh, from the drawing, we can see it's two feet nine inches here in one. Nine inches. Temperature, these are for references, all right? Uh, so if the uh, descriptions or specifications of this nozzle are given, you can put these things over here. But in this uh, classwork, we don't need anything else. So we're gonna do a create. As you can see, the nozzle is created uh, somewhere. And we need to move the nozzle and position it to the origin using the correct datum point. As you can see, the origin of the nozzle, the default origin is at the top part, but we want to move using the bottom part and align it with the equipment origin. So how we can do that? 
as you can see, the create origin create nozzle there automatically changed to modify nozzle. If it doesn't pop up, uh, which it should not, you can always go to the modify and go to the nozzle bit after selecting the nozzle. All right, so the datum point, let's change the datum point. So let's try P point two. So this is the point we want to move uh, this nozzle with respect to uh, this uh, bottom point towards where. Uh, so you can left click on the cylinder. And as you can see, the P points are showing. You can just click over here, it's moved. Or if it doesn't show it that way, you can always use this on align with. Pick a P, P point and click over here and move. It's the same thing, all right? And uh, rotate. So it's not in the right orientation. It should, that head part should, uh, should be in that top direction, up direction. So what you can do is you can select the rotate. So nozzle is selected and doing some modification on the nozzle. So angle, so, uh, these are my local coordinates. So I want to rotate uh, with respect to Z coordinate by 90 degree. By rotation, there you go. Uh, so now it's facing, I'm just click, uh, so I, I guess it was going to the clockwise direction. Uh, so once I selected, it started from bottom. I just click, up, like keep clicking apply, and it eventually moved up to the top. So my nozzle is exactly at the origin facing uh, upwards. I just need to move it by uh, one feet, five and a half inch, All right? So let's uh, move it towards the north. So I don't need to go to the move tool again. You can, but it's easier to handle the nozzles uh, over here. So I just need to You can use these position tools, but let, let's use the move tool again. So what we are going to do is we're going to go home, move, offset to the north by one feet, five and a half inches. All right, click apply. So it's moved to the right location. Just a glitch uh, you're seeing. I think if you close the modify nozzle, it will go away. Right. So my first nozzle is positioned at the right location. The second nozzle, uh, we can use this N2. N2 is exactly the same as the nozzle one. It's just a different position. So if we uh, have the nozzle at the origin point, the dimension is from there. Either you can subtract it or uh, uh, just create another one over here and then move it over there. So it, I'm just uh, going to do it as I see it, uh, as, I, as it seems easy to me. So I'm going to do a copy nozzle. So I'm going to do a copy offset. And I'm going to go to the negative y, the same direction. I'm just creating a copy at the origin because my dimension from the origin. All right. So it's going to be negative one feet, five and a half inches. Can copy the yes. So I just uh, create a copy uh, at the origin, all right? I could have kept the last copy and just did a copy of it. Anyways, uh, now I need to move this nozzle towards, uh, let's do copy offset so that it's easy for us. So, uh, and we can modify, keep modifying this one. So copy offset the nozzle to, is gonna be 
from here to 14 feet 3 inches. The diameter and everything is same, so you don't need to modify anything. So in the y direction, 14 feet 3 inches. Apply. Yes. So uh, I still have my original uh, nozzle. I'm going to use this one to create the other nozzles. That's why I didn't remove. So my nozzle one and two is done, as you can see in here. My nozzle one and nozzle two are at the right location. Now let's see if we have any similar nozzle in here. We have this one, which is N4, right? Still from the center, 15 feet towards the north. And the specification of N4 is the diameter is different only, right? And for diameter is 1.5 inches. So what we can do is we're going to select this uh, basic nozzle. We're going to go to equipment, modify the nozzle, and uh, the diameter should be 1.5 inches, which is close to 32 millimeter, 40 millimeter, close to 40 millimeter. Let's select 40 millimeter. And after that, uh, click next. So we're done modifying the nozzle. So what you're going to do is we're going to create copy offset and nozzle uh, at 15 feet towards the north. So go home, copy offset towards the Y. In here, local court coordinate Y, 15 feet. So yes, so this is my nozzle four. So we're done with four nodes. Uh, as you can see, it highlights the nozzle, but you can always re rename them as well. Like this is my nozzle one, right? So this should be my nozzle two. So you can right click and rename it if you want. Nozzle two, something. All right. This name is this, but anyways, this is how you can modify it. Ah, I'll skip this part. Uh, so let's go to our base nozzle. So this is our base nozzle. Let's see which one is left. So we have two nozzles at the bottom. All right, moving uh, like facing downwards. So let's make a orientation to this nozzle. Let's modify it again. Modify this nozzle. Rotation. About uh, y axis. 90 degree. Apply. Oops, sorry. My reference point is my datum point. I need to check. My datum point should be the bottom. And then apply rotation. Let's see if it, yes, there you go. Applying twice, I have the nozzle. I'm going to close this one. Let's check the diameter. Uh, let's do N5. So we have N5 two inches, the other the same, and the distance is 13 feet six inches. All right. So modify nozzle. So two inches means nearly 50 millimeter. Click next, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Copy offset. This is just a faster way to work. Uh, to me, you can uh, you can do it step by step very slowly. It's up to you. So it's gonna be at y direction. Feet six inches. Apply. Yes, I want to keep the copy. And another one in three, which is four inches. I need to change the diameter. I'm going to go to my old nozzle. And same way, modify the nozzle. And this would be four inches, which is nearly 100 millimeter. Finish it. And then uh, move it by 15 feet, right? Let's 
I'm gonna do a copy offset at y direction by 15 feet. Yes. So I'm done with my five nozzles. I think I have only three left. So one, two, and the big one, and the second nozzle, three. So uh, this one is N4. So let's do N4 first. Uh, N4 is uh, like from looking from the right side view, I can see the N4 looks like this. So the depth is two feet, three inches. Uh, it means the height is two feet, three inches. Height is different than the other one. And uh, uh, the distance between these two nozzles, like from here to here, this is one feet, nine inches plus one feet, nine inches. All right. So let's do one first and then we can easily copy offset because they are aligned. Uh, so well, what we are going to do is, uh, so what's the coordinate from here to here? Let's see where it's given. Uh, it should be somewhere. All right, uh, so what you can do is we can create one at the center and then you can just move it towards the top. One feet nine inches, another one towards the bottom one feet nine inches, right? All right. So let's move our base nozzle over here, which is 13 feet uh, seven inches from the origin, right? So I'm selecting my base nozzle. And by the way, the diameter of N4 and N7 and four and seven are different. So in four is 1.5 inches. And the direction, let's fix the direction first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this nozzle, rotate, change the datum point, rotate about Y axis, by 90 degree, apply rotation. So this is the direction of my other last nozzle is. As, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy offset. I'm just gonna delete this uh, base nozzle after everything's done. So I'm gonna do a copy offset towards the Y direction by 13 feet, seven, inches. Yes, keep the copy. And let's work with this nozzle, okay? So I need to modify this nozzle. Uh, the diameter, if, if you want to do that in four first, in four is uh, six to inch in here, but here it says 1.5 inch. Oh, this is N6. N4, we have already finished. This is the N4. All right, so this is N6. This is N6. The N6 is two inches. So both of them are two inches. Two inches and two inches. So we can just modify this one to the two inches, which is close to 50 millimeter. Uh, Next, did it not modify? This one, right? Yeah, 50 millimeter. Two inches, 50 millimeter. Okay, that's good. Uh, so what you need to do is copy offset towards, so this coordinate would be zero, towards the Z axis, right? Towards the z-axis by how much? By one feet nine inches, right? So one feet nine inches, right? So I can retain the copy, yes. 
and then we're gonna create we're gonna go to the old one and you can just all offset it because you're gonna need it anymore you're not gonna need it anymore so i'm just gonna instead of copy offset i'm just gonna offset it downwards you can do copy offset and delete it as well on the same dimension one feet nine inches apply there you go both our nozzles are in the right location these two nozzles seems like a little bit big I was wondering why. Oh, they are still 100 millimeters for some reason. We didn't modify. There you go. Two inches. And this one. This one. Oh, no. Modify this nozzle. All right, everything is fixed. Now the last thing we have is uh, the suction nozzle, which is the big nozzle M1, which has the 18 inch diameter. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select base nozzle uh, and I'm going to modify this nozzle so 18 inch means uh, I don't know 18 times 25 so it's close to 450 all right uh, so this is my nozzle I need to make the orientation so I rotate it with respect to Z axis with the right datum point by 90 degree apply there you go so my whole equipment is done let's close this one select the equipment so this is how your equipment should look like all right according to the coin oh the height is a little bit too much I think I need to adjust the height so the height of this nozzle is two feet so it seems like very long which one is it you can it's a good idea to rename them actually uh, the height the height is two feet I need to go to the modifying now. So height is two feet. Oops. Height. All right. Just to make sure align with this one there you go i don't know for some reason it was uh, reducing from the bottom part uh, but you can always make sure like that just align with the uh, uh, the p point of the cylinder make sure you don't start with the like whichever uh, component you left uh, left click and hold with it will just show the p points of that component like if i left click and hold on the dish it shows me the p point of the dishes all right so that would be all so this is how the stabilizer reflux frame looks like from the drawing and uh, see you on the next class